A friend is the first person who comes in when the whole world has gone out. Our Daily Bread Today's encouragement from the Our Daily Bread devotional was written by Kayla Ochoa. Kayla writes, A dear friend of mine sent me a text message that said, I'm so glad we can tell each other the good, the bad, and the ugly. We have been friends for many years, and we've learned to share our joys and our failures. We recognize we are far from perfect, so we share our struggles, but we also rejoice in each other's successes. David and Jonathan had a solid friendship, too, beginning with the good days of David's victory over Goliath. They shared their fears during the bad days of Jonathan's father's jealousy. Finally, they suffered together during the ugly days of Saul's plans to kill David. Kayla continues, Good friends don't abandon us when external circumstances change. They stay with us through the good and the bad days. Good friends also may point us to God in the ugly days when we may feel tempted to walk away from our Lord. Real friendships are a gift from God because they exemplify the perfect friend who remains loyal through the good, the bad, and the ugly days. As the Lord reminds us, Never will I leave you, never will I forsake you. Today's Our Daily Bread devotional scripture reading is from 1 Samuel, chapter 20, verses 35 through 42. In the morning, Jonathan went out to the field for his meeting with David. He had a small boy with him, and he said to the boy, Run and find the arrows I shoot. As the boy ran, he shot an arrow beyond him. When the boy came to the place where Jonathan's arrow had fallen, Jonathan called out after him, Isn't the arrow beyond you? Then he shouted, Hurry, go quickly, don't stop. The boy picked up the arrow and returned to his master. The boy knew nothing about all this. Only Jonathan and David knew. Then Jonathan gave his weapons to the boy and said, Go, carry them back to town. After the boy had gone, David got up from the south side of the stone and bowed down before Jonathan three times with his face to the ground. Then they kissed each other and wept together but David wept the most. Jonathan said to David, Go in peace, for we have sworn friendship with each other in the name of the Lord, saying, The Lord is witness between you and me, and between your descendants and my descendants forever. Then David left, and Jonathan went back to the town. That's today's scripture reading from 1 Samuel chapter 20, verses 35-42. through 42. Let's pray. Dear Lord, we thank you for the good friends you have placed in our lives. But above all, thank you for your friendship. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Today's encouragement was provided by our Daily Bread Ministries.